agency on the combine it's not covered so uh, yeah rodent damage insect damage and bird damage is not covered so the bills on me so uh, Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm going to be looking around for different insurance. Anyway, I checked the combine. Walked out there and checked it. Neither one of the mouse traps have got a mouse in it. Peanut butter's still on it. Ruckus is looking for mice out here. He's all over the place. He knows that it's a good thing for him to kill them. Anyway, I got to get these seed meters out of this combine. So, or out of the combine. I got combine on the brain. So, this, uh, seed meters out of this planter. So, okay. yep, corn. Corn from last year left over. So, I need to take some of that with me because you're supposed to take the corn that you plant with you when you take your meters in to get them checked. Right or wrong, I don't know, because is the corn that we get this year gonna be the same corn as we got last year? I don't know. But anyway, let's see. My clutch, this is number one. Oh. All right, oh, come with me. You guys see? This will all get laid down in here and get lost. Looks like I can put a big screwdriver in there and get that out of there.
see the brass that's the insert that goes in the plastic so let me get a big screwdriver sticking the end of this and see if I can get them separated all right got her out it wasn't stuck very hard but I don't know if Loctite will work on something going into plastic or not but I'm gonna and I mean it's not I don't know Loctite work between plastic and and brass Give me a comment. I'm gonna go get some Loctite and put this back together All right, well Found some red Loctite. I was looking for blue. I don't have any blue right now I Tried chasing these threads with the bolt got tied up in there. I don't know what was wrong something was wrong so found a tap run a tap through there I've got a jam nut on here so I'm gonna thread this brass piece on here part way and then jam it with that nut see if I can screw it in there like that I had to actually hold it it's got a slot here to cuts threads so it's got a slot, I don't know, I hope you can see that. It's got that slot there. So I used a screwdriver, stuck down in there to hold it while I was running the, the die through, or the tap through there, but then the tap started to push the screwdriver out. So I got a pair of pliers and gently held it right across from them uh, cutouts and was able to run the tap through there. It didn't take much to clean it up. But anyway, we'll see if we can screw this in there. so I can jam this nut on it. Everything I touch anymore is going to crap. Okay, good. That's set. I'll leave the 
Loctite and that nut. So, anyway, this is your seed meter. This is a finger pickup meter, for those of you that don't know. So there's a little brush right there. That's your, your, um, this brushes extra seeds away. Each one of these fingers, I don't know, yes. Hopefully you can see that. Let me get behind the camera. See how these fingers flip up? They're all spring loaded. So as this turns, it comes around this way. And you can see how this one here is open. Hopefully you can see, I'm trying to work with limited light. This one is open. I can put my finger behind it. There's a hole right here where it pushes the seed, drops the seed into. So it opens up, goes down through here, this whole cavity is full of seed. So they open up, they go around, and then when they get in the bottom, actually, there's one with a piece of seed in it. Let me see if I can spin this around. Can you see? See that one right there? It's got a it has a kernel of corn in it. You can see it, it's purple in there. So as that comes around, then this brush right here brushes any extra seed. That brush right there will brush any extra seed off. So that's only dropping one. And then, I don't know if you can see that right there. This belt on the bottom has chambers, flaps between it and there's one going by right there so then that seed hits that hole there it just flipped it in there so now it's laying on top of that belt so now let me turn it and watch the bottom there it went that just dropped the seed out and then the fingers open up they go back into the pile of seed here they get closed they come up and this brush brushes any extra ones off and it spits them in that tube, the belt carries them down. So they'll disassemble all of this. They'll check the tension on the belt, check it for wear. There's more brushes and stuff in here. And then all these springs, take this cover off here, and they check the tension on all these springs and uh, just go through everything. And then they actually have a meter that they set these in and it connects to it. And it's got a running belt and they run the meter and they run the belt and they got a, a formula that they use and it's a certain RPM that they spin this and a certain RPM that the belt goes and it drops seed. It should drop, I think it should drop a seed in every, every container, every compartment on that belt. And that's how they check to make sure they work good. And they do it with them, they do it with them open so that they can watch and see how everything works. So there you go. That's how seed meters work. So, I'm gonna lay that in front of that one. Hide it over here because we gotta put six of them out here. Clear as mud? Great. If you have any questions, leave me, if you have any questions, bleep bloop them down in the comments and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay, you seen me unlock these knobs here. That's the, uh, the row disconnect. She's driven off of this main shaft, goes from one side of the planter to the other. You've got chains here that come down, goes into this clutch. And when you twist that clutch, like so, there's a, a ramp on this side that pulls this out and locks it out. That disengages the drive against that uh, seed meter. 
and there's the tube that the seeds drop in this wire here is for your sensor there's a sensor in the seed tube that can sense when a kernel goes by it and that tells you how your performance is on your monitor it tells you if you got a blockage or if you're out of seed or anything but every one of these has a clutch so say you got some point rows where your field comes you know the edge of it's at an angle and you start overlapping you can come out and and disengage a clutch so yeah so they all look like they're in good shape there a couple of them were a little stiff but yeah so let's see if we can get lucky and pull the rest of these off without any tools yes just like that Well, that don't feel good. Got another one of the bushings backing out. Unbelievable. Never had that happen before. I wonder why it's doing it now. Is it cold? pair of pliers you know I had a half a mind to bring that tap out here so that I could fix any more of them I thought to myself you know we've never had that trouble trouble so I put everything back away back in the kit back in the toolbox so as you can see well you probably can't but there's a wad inside of that I don't know if my pocket knife will go clear through there push that out yep there it went Did it go? All right, well, it disappeared. Great. Anyway, now you can see through it. So now we'll see if the screw will go back through. No, it's tying up. So I'm just going to screw that back in there on the top right there and we'll continue on and see if we have any more before we go up to the garage and fix them. Hopefully that's the only other one. But we figured out how to fix it. 
long as that Loctite will hold on plastic on brass or brass and plastic, we'll be all right, I think. This is a dust shield. It sits on here and it goes upside down and it covers a hole where the uh, meter meets the seed tube. Man, corn in here. We usually clean all that out. I don't understand why there's so much. Well, there's not a lot. There's only a couple kernels in, in each one. But uh, we'll see. I don't. I don't know what's going on. See, that's how they should be. They should just be finger tight. stuff and it's the first time this has ever happened See if I can catch this wad. Huh, it's just dust. Dust and seed treatment, it looks like. I thought it was plastic. Alright, let's see if it'll thread back through. The threads on these all look okay. Not like they were cross threaded. Nope. Gets right there and gets real tight. Alright. Put you right there so we don't forget you. I'll blow these out. They all got stuff in them, which don't make no sense because it's upside down. And it's not a through hole. It's not a through hole. It's a, it's a blind hole. It doesn't go all the way through. I'm going to pocket my phone and check that for sure. No. It has a bottom. So how is that? So how is that stuff getting in there? All right, where'd the other one go? 
Two to fix. Let's go up to the garage and fix these two. All right, let me get my tap, tap and die set out. Sears Craftsman. All right, now. Five sixteenths by 18. Five sixteenths by 18. So, like I said, grab it gingerly, right there where them slots are. Run her through there. Being stubborn. There we go. Threads all the way on. Hmm. The right one. Don't feel right. No, it wasn't. That's the one. All right, I'm going to start it backwards.
No, 5 16 by 24. Come on, John. Grab the right one. 5 16 by 18. Coarse thread. There we go. And I started it backwards so I could run it all the way up against the threads on the top. Because that's where they need cleaned out. Okay, all the way up against the shoulder. Brand new. Yep, all right, done. Jam nut out there and the rock tight. So we'll head back out to the garage and hurt the barn and uh, get these put in. All right, as you're seeing, I gotta, I got them fixed. Uh, you've seen me put the other one in, so I'm not going to bore you with that. But we'll be back in just a minute. Blink of an eye. All right, I got thinking about this. I only got a pick. And I got my little shop back. I'm going to clean them. And no battery. Hang on. I'm going to loosen that stuff up in there and suck it out. I'm gonna make a phone call and uh, be right back. I don't know if you can see it back in there on them sand knobs. Dust is blowing. And I'm pretty sure over by my brother's house, over there, I see the dust blowing over there too. She's windy out. 40 mile an hour gusts. 